Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if this year for Christmas you'd love to be a bit more organised, a bit less stress and a bit more joy for the whole festive season, then you're definitely in the right place. If last year you promised yourself that next year would be different, then you're definitely in the right place. Or maybe you're generally a quite organised person, you've got your own list and you're just curious to see if there's maybe something that you've missed off yours or just gain a few extra hints and tips and you know some ways that I might do things different to you and you think actually that's quite a good idea so you're definitely in the right place for that now it's only October as I'm filming this we're on week three I'm going to link weeks one and two in the description down below so you can go back and catch up with those if you want but it is only October and I'm not one of those people that will overwhelm you with Christmas with all the Christmas music and you know all the Christmas overload no this is purely about getting those things um, ticked off your list early that you can do each week there's a little bit of homework um, to keep you on track some tasks that I suggest that you do that week yeah just to make it a lot less stress filled and a lot more joy filled Christmas and festive season so without further ado let's get started on this week's tasks thing that we're going to think about this week is in the gift category and this category probably gives us the most stress that along with the food and drink category and I want you to think this week about when you are going to do your Christmas shopping are you somebody that just gets it all done in your lunch hour at work maybe you work close to big stores and you can get it done that way or do you like to take a day or two days where you go out with your other half or your sister or your best friend and get it done that way if you need to allocate whole days to it then you're going to need to diary them you're going to need to put them on the calendar so this week I want you to decide when you are going to do that for some people with young children that might involve a babysitter do you need to ask somebody to watch the kids while you go and do the Christmas shopping um, or maybe you just need privacy to do it maybe your kids are little and you can do it online when they're in bed but maybe that isn't you and so maybe you can allocate a half day where you can take yourself off to your favorite coffee shop somewhere that's got great wi-fi take your Christmas planner and get loads done that way but it's something that needs to be thought about so that you don't run out of time or days to do it when life just gets in the way and the calendar gets filled up so when are you going to do your Christmas shopping is it in the shops physically is it online and get some time diaried for that to happen Okay, still in the gift category, we said in a previous video that best to wrap gifts as you go so that you don't run out of time to do it. So did you buy any gifts this past week? Have you wrapped them yet? I have to confess, um, I bought a couple of little things and no, they're not wrapped. I need to still do um, an inventory of the paper and bags and things that I've got left over from last year. And that isn't coming up yet that's that'll be in a week or two that you need to do that so um, I'm not behind on that but I'm just curious to know put it in the comments if you are really ahead of the game if you bought something and it's already wrapped big thumbs up to you if that is you right next task for this week is um, if you've got any gifts that need to go overseas you need to check the posting dates because that's going to determine when you need to get those gifts by when you need to get them parceled up and sent away so definitely check the posting dates for any overseas gifts so now we're going to switch to the food and drink category and the thing I need you to be thinking about this week is speciality food orders. Now, your turkey should already be ordered. We spoke about that last week, but what else do you place a special order for? Maybe you're in the UK and you do a special Marks and Spencer's food order. So get that in this week. Maybe you order a Christmas cake, local baker, small local baker business, family, friend that does your Christmas cake, you need to let them know, get that Christmas cake order in this week. Or maybe there's just some other special Christmas order. Maybe you order Christmas cupcakes. Maybe you order something specific, you know, a joint of meat for a Christmas Eve meal, but anything else that needs to be ordered, a special order, get that in this week. Okay, a quick wee plea from me. 
Did you know that only a tiny percentage of people who regularly watch these videos actually subscribe to the channel? Subscribing helps me hugely. It allows me to continue doing this, to continue doing what I'm doing. So please, if you could at all, just jump in, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up. And um, yeah, it is really, really appreciated. I can't tell you how much. Okay, so still sticking with the food and drink category. When we were putting our planner together, we said um, that you should have a master shopping list. Now, this week, I want you to add to that list all the things food and drink related that you buy year in, year out for Christmas. So things like your super big roll of turkey foil, uh, spices maybe for mulled wine. What are the things that you cook and bake every year that you need to buy some special ingredients for maybe it's cranberry sauce maybe it's you know all of these things that you start to see appearing in the supermarkets just now that come two weeks before christmas when you're looking for them and um, they say oh no we did have some but not now the thing that i used to always end up losing out on was the vacuum packed chestnuts for stuffing October, early November, they would have shelves of them, but try getting those in December, no chance. So this week, try and think about all those things that you can easily buy just now, easily store away, put them on your master list. And then when you're doing your regular grocery shop over the next few weeks, you can just add one or two of those items into your cart and then they're done. So now we're going to move on to the Christmas card list and this is the week that you are going to refresh your list. You're going to check that you've got everybody's up-to-date addresses in there and then you're going to divide them into separate categories. Now not everybody still sends cards. Some people just send cards to close family and friends or just maybe a, a chosen few. Whatever way you do it, divide it into groups that make sense to you. My recommendation would be something like um, airmail cards, anything that needs to go overseas, uh, close family and friends, neighbours, wider circle of friends, work colleagues, something like that. And then it means that you've got separate categories and then at a later stage what we'll do is you know, divide them so that, you know, one week you write this group, the next week you write another group. But at the moment, just make sure that everybody's um, address is up to date and that you have subdivided them into those categories. That also tells you exactly how many cards you are going to need to buy. And then the other thing you need to do this week is while you're checking the posting dates for um, gifts that might need to go overseas, check the posting dates for uh, cards and letters. They might be slightly different and just make sure that you've got all that information ready to go. So you've decided that this year you're going to be more organised. Maybe this is also the year that you've decided that your Christmas decorations need a bit of a refresh as well. So switching to the decorations section in your planner, this week I want you to give some thought to what theme would work for you for your decorations. Now, this probably warrants a whole video by itself and that's definitely something that I'm considering doing. So look out for, you know, me putting a video out just on that topic. But for now, you can certainly jump online, go on Pinterest, have a look. By themes, I mean, what do you like? What's your personal preference? What's going to work with your decor? Things like you've got sort of traditional styles, so the reds, the greens, the golds, the silvers. Maybe you just go for mixed metals. That's what I tend to do. A mix of gold, silver, and rose gold, all the different kind of metals and neutral metallic colours. Are you looking for a kind of rustic look and um, kind of a uh, log cabin, chalet style? Um, are you going with um, just maybe gold and silver or maybe there's a particular colour that you love? Maybe your Christmas decor is all purple and silver. So many options. But if you're thinking that your decorations need a bit of a refresh, instead of just going out and buying a whole mishmash, think about what would work in your home to give you a more cohesive look. And pull together a bit of a, a mood board um, to inspire you. So that's your task for this week for your decorations. So now we're going to switch to the kind of home tasks uh, section in your planner. And the thing you need to be thinking about this week is, are you planning to make a biggish purchase that you want to have in time for Christmas? Because you need to do it now. I'm thinking about, did you mean to replace your sofa? 
Um, I was in one of the furniture stores the other day and of course now they've got, you know, cards up saying in time for Christmas. So you're just on that verge of delivery where if you don't do it now, you're not going to have it in time for Christmas. Did you need to buy a new bed for the spare room because you've got guests coming this year? Did you want to invest in a new um, TV this year? These are all things that you need to think about this week, potentially order really quickly or if it's something like a TV or a new um, cinema sound system, you probably want to be starting the research. You know, I'm aware that come the end of November with kind of Black Friday sales and things, that might be the time to actually buy it. But for that to happen, you want to have done all your research and know exactly what it is that you are looking for as far as the kind of electronic side of things is concerned. So have a think this week. Is there something that you need to buy that's quite a big home purchase? Either get in there and get it ordered so that you can get it in time for Christmas if it's got you know a really, really long lead time or start the research so that when those November sales come up, you're ready to move and you know exactly what you want. And you can just keep an eye out as well in the meantime and just see if there's any great deals that you want to move on. But you can't do that unless you, you know exactly what it is you are looking for. That's another task for this week. The big things, um, the new sofas, the new TVs, get thinking about those or get them ordered if you want them in time for Christmas. Okay. A quick reminder on the travel arrangements category. We talked about this in a previous week. Have you got your travel arrangements booked? So by now you should know where you are spending Christmas. If you're going to friends and family for Christmas or if you are visiting them, you know, at some other point over the festive season, you need to get your travel arrangements booked because the longer you leave it, the more expensive it's going to be. But if you know where you're going and you know the dates, get in there now and get that booked if you haven't done so already. Last task on the list this week comes from the kind of health and self-care category. I think that's what we called it in the planner. And that is to take some time out to compile your own gift wish list. What do you want for Christmas? Honestly, your family and friends will absolutely love you if you put this list together. So what I suggest you do is either do it this week or schedule some time over the next couple of weeks. Ideally, take yourself off into town, have a nice browse, have a coffee, a little break, wander around, have a look, decide on all the things that you would love to find under the Christmas tree, take some photos, make note of, you know, brands, colours, that kind of thing and compile the list. Or if you're just not somebody that really enjoys browsing around the physical stores, then get yourself some time set aside to go online, browse your favourite shops online and put together the list. You know, make it relaxing, get some nice music on, make yourself a cosy drink and yeah, just spend the time putting that list together. As I say, your family and friends will absolutely love you for it. And then you've got a much better chance of getting what you really want under the Christmas tree this year. So that's it for this week. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you're finding these videos useful. And do let me know as well if there's a particular aspect of Christmas that you usually find, you know, more stressful than, than others. And I'll make sure and tackle that in a, a future video. So until next week, See you later.